everybody, Puzzle Pizza is here with more of Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper. Uh, we're here in Whitechapel uh, with Watson, and uh, oh yes, we're going to be doing some things. So let's go back to the cobbler. Maybe he has our stuff for us. Is he in? Oh, there he is. Good evening, Mr. Solomonovich. Good evening, Doctor. What a pleasure to see you again. Oh, uh, harnesses. Have you finished converting the harnesses? Yes, just now. I got a little behind because of all the commotion. Commotion? Commotion? Don't you start. Three days ago, the very afternoon that you passed by, there was a chase throughout the neighborhood. Okay. Hundreds of people were chasing one man, claiming he was responsible for the murders these last few days. Oh. Schmontz! It was awful! I hope those maniacs didn't catch him. Better the police should. Oh, okay. Tell me, did John Pizer turn himself in to the police? Things unfolded as they should. Look in the newspaper, the daily news from today. Oh, okay, we'll probably get to... Farewell, Isaac. Look at that in a minute. Goodbye, Doctor. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna skim it. Again, you can read it at your own leisure. Uh... Do, 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 do. Okay, so, yeah, not much really, not very helpful there, but, alright, back to the clinic, because we have the harnesses now. Good evening, Dr. I have Gibbons. the harnesses. Dr. Watson. Uh, Did you keep the cane we spoke of last time? I was going to sell it tomorrow, would you believe, oh, having gosh. not heard word. <sighs> we have Do it. you have any formalin here? No, definitely not. They have it in university hospitals to conserve anatomical specimens in jars. Okay. But in a little clinic like mine, we don't keep anything but bad memories. Mm. Oh, yeah, so we need to well, have the thing in our doctor. inventory. Goodbye, Dr. Watson. Okay, so... I must retrieve Sickert's cane. Yes, yes, yes. So... There we go. Yes, Doctor? We have the harnesses. Here are your harnesses, Doctor. They are top quality, I'd say. Definitely worth the prize of this walking stick. Oh, good. Here, it's yours. Perfect. Uh, well, also, farewell, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor Watson. I want to ask him about the pill, too. I must go to Miss yes, Bella. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, But we have to ask about the pill first. Yes, Doctor? Could you tell me what type of pill this is? Yes, we have those here. Okay. It's not really a medication. We give them to patients with chronic respiratory conditions like tuberculosis. Oh, okay. Did you have a patient by the name of Annie Chapman? The woman killed three days ago. Indeed. She came in the morning of her death. Oh. Poor woman. Did you give her these pills? Yes, now that I think of it. She actually came in twice. Twice. The first time I gave her an almost empty container without making her pay. She came back during the day and said she dropped the container and stepped on the pills. She wanted to know if I could give her more again without paying. I refused. After she left, a patient who was there told me that he lives at the same place and confided that she had been lying. He saw the pills fall in the tenement's communal kitchen, but the woman immediately wrapped them up in a piece of paper. Where did oh. this paper come from? According to this man, she'd found it near the chimney in the kitchen. 
Anyone could have thrown that paper there. That envelope can't have anything to do with a murder. Pardon, Doctor? Uh, nothing. I was just talking to myself. Yeah, d careful of that, Watson. Well, farewell, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor Watson. Okay, so we have the cane. I must go to Miss Bell. Yeah, yes, I know, Watson. We're gonna go now. So we have the cane, so... I don't know where our gun went to. It should be in here. Um... Bravo. Off we go. give that scumbag back his cane well I know we give it to I think we give it to oh yeah because he's not even here oh uh yeah there we go have it in the inventory good evening ma'am um your door was open isn't that a little dangerous there's a gun on the table Hello, doctor don't worry if the looks of anyone who enters doesn't please me me and my pistol know how to convince them to leave uh, cane. I found the cane that was stolen from your client. Here it is. Doctor, you are a real saint. I can see that. Yes. I'll finally be able to present my bill to this damned painter. If by chance you see him, tell him that a little surprise awaits him here. Uh, so Tumblety. You told me you would give me some information on this Dr. Tumblety. Agreed. He's a Canadian or an American. <laughs> He parades from time to time through the neighborhood in a 50 guinea suit and oh. acts like a doctor. Okay. But for business, he isn't worth it. This damn Yankee hates women. The oh. few times that he was approached by the girls, he spit on them, all the while hurling insults. Mm. It would seem that he was hunting for the bad boys. He's looking for trouble, that animal. Does he frequent any pub in particular? Aye, the wasp's nest on Burner Street, I think. Okay. A seedy spot, even by our standards. Okay, uh, Do you happen to know Annie Chapman, the poor woman who was killed three days ago? Dark Annie? <laughs> like Dark all Annie. the drifters in the area, I've seen her once or twice. With respect to the dead, Annie really was the bottom of the barrel. Ooh. What do you mean? Well, in our profession, the pretty young ones go out when night has barely fallen and don't have a problem finding takers. Mm -hmm. But poor girls like Annie or Polly Nichols, who aren't as tender and are often sick, sometimes trudge around for a whole night in the cold and the rain before landing a client. Oh, okay. And that doesn't help their appearances either. Mm -hmm. They don't have much choice about paying for a bed for a few hours, a glass of gin or a hot meal. How terribly sad. Yeah. Bah, that's the price of survival in Whitechapel, my angel. One of my girls knew Annie for some time. They bought some jewellery on the black market, I think. Jewellery? How could Annie Chapman have possibly afforded jewellery? Her rings. <laughs> Luxuries for a woman are always relative to her condition, Doctor. As a matter of fact, it was real cheap junk. Annie got three assorted brass rings. There I think. we go. <laughs> it's been said I have a memory for jewellery. Hmm. How is Lucy keeping? She's doing well, Doctor. But believe me, it won't last. Oh? Rare are the girls who can build a future in our profession. Okay. Very well. I shall let you get back to work, Ma. See you soon, my love. <laughs> oh, we got something here. Was it duction or...? No. Maybe a conclusion? Oh, we did. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, so, uh, well, we have to tell, find that guy. But well, I don't think it'd be hard to find that sleaze ball somewhere. I don't really know what we can do now. Hmm. Oh wait, Bella said something, didn't she? 
Hold on, hold on. We're going back to dialogue. Um, oh yeah, about Tumble Tea. Oh yes, uh, he frequents the WAP's nest on Burner Street. Okay. Do I have that on my map? No. Ah, okay, I do. Never mind. Okay, here we go. The wasp's nest. This pub looks even more disreputable than the golden lion in Baker Street. Oh, look at the fog in this. Well, it's probably smoke, but still. Oh, there he is there. I can at least go talk to him. Good evening, sir. Well, I know you. Why? We met at Miss Poolman's the other day. So you come to slum it in Whitechapel, eh? Mm, no. No, I want to tell a... Do you know Dr. Tumblety? A Canadian or American chap. Quite an extravagant dresser. I want to talk to him Frequents about Bellas. Now and then. Or Miss Bellas. Are you intimate? Dude, um, no. No. What do you mean by that? Don't, don't yeah, ask. Nothing, nothing. Don't ask more. Watson. I just wanted to prove my discretion concerning this man. In so much and so far as I know him. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't like it if one day the tables were turned and everyone was talking about why you were in the borough. Isn't that so? By the way... As it <laughs> happens, I saw Miss Pullman recently. She told me that she couldn't wait to see you again. She said something about a surprise that is waiting <laughs> yes. for you at her establishment. Why, that is some of the best news I've heard, my friend. As thanks... I would like to let you in on a secret. Mm -hmm. The man that you were talking about, and whom I happen to know by sight, passed by and went through that little door that you see over there. Another man let him in. They weren't together for more than a few minutes, to be sure, eh? Uh, thanks. Well, I will continue my search. Ah, uh, love. <laughs> but what is this person trying to imply? <sighs> this matter is beyond me. Yes, it, it is. Sorry, Watson. Okay. Yeah, so I can't go there yet, but I think I need to talk to the barkeep here. No, no, no. Over here, Watson. Greetings, my good man. Could I have a pint? <laughs> a pint? Yeah, he's looking at you like, dude, I can give you a beer. Here, Gov. I've been told that Dr. Tumblety might be found around here. Is that so? I don't do a roll call of all the drunkards here. Yeah. I've got my hands full just making sure I get their money. Mm-hmm. Uh... Don't people pay when they order? Nah, look at that little scribbler there. Completely dead drunk. Tonight's tally is about as long as his arm. Mm. If he skips out, I'll be in for a guinea almost. Okay. Goodbye, my friend. Oi, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, you don't call him friend, I guess. I'll talk to her, I guess. Come on, over here. <laughs> Oi, what'll it be to drink, Gav? Okay, I guess not. We'll talk to him then. <laughs> Good evening, sir. It'll be the cool of my career, Governor said. Ha! <laughs> You'll make loads of dust of the paper, he said. Uh, you're a journalist? You're a journalist? Oh, okay. That's so. Tom Bulling at your service. <laughs> the Whitechapel ferret, the wizard with the scoop. You don't appear to be in a state to write anything, my friend. You're mistaken. <laughs> Whiskey passes through the blood and turns into ink. Simple. Mm. <laughs> you see, mugs and inkwells are all the same. Don't you think you should settle your tab and go home? My red ink? Where's my red ink? <laughs> I won't even pay half a halfpenny if they don't return my red ink. It's my blood you here. Okay, so he's definitely drunk. Very well, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Could we pay for his drink? Guess we can ask him this. Leave me alone. I bet this miserable act, the bloke that mopes there, will do a runner and leave me with the unpaid bill. Okay. Goodbye, my friend. Oi, that's it. Yeah, and we can't go here because he'll call us out on it. Uh, that, that at least I know. 
so we will have to oh and look at that time's almost up mm. yes 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 starting now there we go mm. yes i know alarm calm down all right so in the next video we're gonna basically help this poor guy over here uh this one here uh with his red ink uh and hopefully find out where tumble tea is if he is back here or not so do stay tuned this is puzzle pieces signing off